Filmed on a mobile phone, these are previously unseen pictures from an opposition rally. Gambian paramilitary forces fire tear gas on protesters. Organizers say they want electoral reform, freedom of speech, and an end to police violence. Public demonstrations are rarely allowed. This one was banned. Defiant, people had gathered to protest the arrest of Solo Sandeng, an outspoken opposition leader now believed to have died in police custody. Among the protesters, his daughter. How many families are suffering today? How many people have heard that my family or my father or my parent is gone? My sister is gone. It will happen to each and everybody so far as we don't stand out for the truth. Human rights organization accused President Jame of overseeing arbitrary detention and torture. He's been in power for 23 years and he is running for re-election in December. The opposition believes the vote will be rigged. I think we have reached the tipping point, a point where Gambians have said enough is enough. We are all willing to die. We can rule over an empty land, but we must change this regime. We have reached a point where Gambians are saying no, no more, and we must put an end to this. The opposition are angry and voices of dissent are growing. We are not keeping quiet anymore. We are a family and we know how a father is important to a family. If you are a is there sitting with his family or whoever arrested my father, let him know that the father has his family. And how he is important to his family is how our father is important to us. I am standing alone. If anybody is behind me, fine. I'm not expecting anybody behind me. Thank you. Just 30 kilometers down this road is where the protest took place just across the Senegal-Gambia border. Few have been able to report inside the Gambia. Al Jazeera's previous attempt to enter the country were refused. Such is the level of state control of information. Now, despite these pressures, opposition activists say they will continue to protest, determined to get their voices heard. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Kerrang, at the Senegal-Gambia border.